Hello and welcome to this short instructional video entitled Accutech Field Unit Configuration. In this video, you will learn how to quickly configure a typical Accutech field unit to send process data wirelessly to an Accutech base radio. The configuration of a base radio unit will be explained in another video in this series. We begin with the star configuration that's used by a typical Accutech network. In this example, there are six field units of varying types, each equipped with its own integrated communications, power and process sensor components that communicates with an Accutech BR20 base radio acting as a gateway between the wireless field units and the host networks. The over-the-air connection between the field units and the base radio uses the proprietary Accutech Y-Star protocol, which supports up to 100 field units per base radio. Each field unit is assigned the same RF channel number as the base radio intended for that specific field unit network, and a unique RF ID number that differentiates each field unit from the others within this network. In my example, the field units all have an RF channel number of 16, and RF ID numbers from 1 to 6. Here we see a VC10 or valve controller field unit. The VC10 is equipped with a built-in battery, internal antenna, pressure sensor, valve solenoid, and digital outputs. Let's begin by powering the unit up. Press and hold the next and enter buttons. The LCD will show information including the field unit model number, firmware version, and wireless status, or RF, and finally the current reading from the pressure sensor. To begin the configuration process, we must first enter the configuration menu. This is done by pressing and releasing the next button. Config is displayed. Press the enter button, and password, then the default password of 0000, is displayed. Press the enter button four times to enter 000 as the password, and then set RF is displayed. Set RF is the first item in the config submenu, and this is where we set the Y star parameters required to talk to a group of field units. Press the enter button, and power save is displayed. Press the next button, and RF chan is displayed. This is a unique number that will allow the base radio to only communicate with field units that are also configured with the same RF channel number. Press the enter button and the factory default RF channel 000 is displayed. Using the enter button to scroll through the three digits and the next button to increment the digit, change the RF channel to the desired number. In my example, I would like to use RF channel 016 or 16. After setting the rightmost digit, pressing the enter button will make the change to the configuration and RF Chan will be again displayed. Press the next button to display the next submenu item, baud rate. Press the enter button to enter the baud rate submenu. Using the next button, scroll through the available Y star baud rates and choose the desired rate, making note that any field unit configured to use RF channel 16 will need to be configured with the same Y-star baud rate. In my example, I selected 19.2K. Once the desired rate is displayed, press the Enter button to accept the setting. Baud rate is again displayed. Press the Next button to display the RFID submenu item. Press the Enter button to enter the RFID submenu. Each field unit must be assigned its own RFID number within the overall RF channel group that is serviced by this base radio. I would like the VC10's RFID number to be 002 as shown in the previous diagram. Use the next and enter buttons to select the desired RFID for your system. Once the desired RFID is displayed, press the enter button to accept the new value and RFID is displayed again. Select the next button and exit is displayed. This means that there are no more items in the set RF submenu. Press the next button to scroll back to any of the items in the submenu if you need to change any of the configuration parameters. Or the enter button to exit the submenu as I am showing here. Set RF is again displayed. 
Press the Next button to display the next item in the Config submenu. Set Password. Press the Next button to scroll past this and the remaining items in the Config submenu until Exit is displayed. Press the Enter button to exit the Config submenu and Config is displayed. Press the Next button until Exit is displayed. Then press the Enter button to return to the top level of the menu structure. The VC10 field unit is now configured to talk to the base radio. Switching to the BR20 base radio's display, the number of connected field units is now displayed as 1. Repeat this entire procedure to add the remaining field units to the Acutec network. Thank you for watching this video.